In this video, we will go through some practice questions for atomic number, mass number, atomic mass, relative atomic mass, and isotopes. All the information you need should be in the previous video, so feel free to check that out. I encourage you to pause the video after each question and try answer it yourself. Um, so let's get started. Question one, what is an atomic number and how does it uniquely identify an element? An atomic number is the number of protons found in the nucleus of an atom. So it uniquely identifies an element because each element has a distinct number of protons in the nucleus. These elements are arranged on the periodic table in ascending order of their atomic numbers. And no two elements can have the same atomic number. So for example, hydrogen has an atomic number of one, indicating it has one proton, while helium has an atomic number of two, signifying it has two protons. Question two. Given the amount of protons in the following element, what is the element? We have six protons for A, 17 protons for B, and 79 protons for C. The answer is for A, carbon, the element has six protons, so an atomic number of six. For B, it's chlorine, because chlorine has seven protons. And for C, it's gold, because gold has 79 protons. Question three, what is mass number of an atom and how does it differ from atomic number? The mass number of an atom is the sum of the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus and it's given by the letter A, while atomic number on the other hand is the number of protons in the nucleus, so it's only the protons, and it's given by the letter Z. While the atomic number can uniquely identify an element, the mass number can vary from different isotope of the same element due to changing numbers of neutrons. Question four, considering an atom with 17 protons and 20 neutrons, calculate its mass number and identify the element. The atomic number is 17, so we know it has 17 protons. It also has 20 neutrons. So by adding the number of neutrons and protons, we get the mass number. So 17 plus 20 is 37, and this is the mass number. The element also, once again, has 17 protons. So we simply look this up on the periodic table and we'll find it is chlorine. Question five. How does atomic mass differ from relative atomic mass? Atomic mass refers to the actual mass of an atom, so the mass of a singular atom that accounts for the sum of the protons, neutrons, and electrons. It's usually measured in atomic mass units, or AUM, whereas relative atomic mass considers a weighted average mass of all the naturally occurring isotopes of an element, taking into account their relative abundances. And it's usually dimensionless, having no units, and can often be seen as the mass on the periodic table. Question six, why aren't electrons considered in the calculation of atomic mass? Calculate the atomic mass of carbon isotopes with mass numbers 12 and 13. So to answer the first part of that question, electrons aren't included in the atomic mass calculation because they are significantly smaller compared to the mass of protons and neutrons. So protons and neutrons contribute a substantially um, more significant mass and therefore electrons can be neglected because they won't make a difference. And to answer the second part of that question, for carbon-12, which has an atomic number of six and a mass number of 12, we can find the number of neutrons by minusing the atomic number from the mass number, which gives six, so there are six neutrons. We can then say the atomic mass equals six times the mass of a proton plus six times the mass of a neutron. 
and that is therefore 6 times 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms plus 6 times 1.675 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms, which gives us the answer of 1.992 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. And then for carbon 13, which has a mass number of 13, we can once again find the number of neutrons by minusing the atomic number from 13, which gives us seven. So there are seven neutrons. We plug this into the same equation to give us six times 1.637 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms plus seven times 1.675 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms which produces the answer 2.177 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. Question seven, define relative atomic mass and explain how it is calculated for elements with multiple isotopes. Relative atomic mass is the average mass of all naturally occurring isotopes of an element and it takes into account their relative abundances. It's also usually a dimensionless number and will be the quantity you can normally see on a periodic table. To calculate it for elements with multiple isotopes, you can multiply the mass of each isotope by its abundance that is expressed as a decimal. You can then sum all these values and you should get the relative atomic mass. You can also simply use the following equation. Question eight, element XYZ has three isotopes with masses and abundances as follows. Isotope A has a mass of 12 AUM and an abundance of 60%. Isotope B has a mass of 13.003 AUM and an abundance of 25% and isotope C has a mass of 14.006 AUM and an abundance of 15%. Calculate the atomic mass of this element. So using the equation we talked about in the previous question, we can simply multiply the mass of each isotope by its abundance over 100. This works out to be 12 AUM times 0 0.6 plus 13.003 AUM times 0 0.25 plus 14.006 AUM times 0 0.15, which gives the approximate relative atomic mass of 12.708. Question nine, explain why relative atomic mass of an element may not be a whole number and provide an example. The relative atomic mass may not be a whole number because it considers the masses and abundances of different isotopes. The isotopes have varying numbers of neutrons and protons, which are usually non-integer -integer numbers, the abundances are also usually expressed as a fraction. So for example, chlorine has two main isotopes, chlorine 35 with an abundance of about 75.77% and chlorine 37 with an abundance of about 24.23%. The weighted average of these masses leads to a relative atomic mass that's approximately 35.45, which is not a whole number, and this will be true in many or almost all cases. Question 10. Define isotopes and explain why they have similar chemical properties but different physical properties. Isotopes are simply atoms of the same element that have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons, leading to different mass numbers like we talked about before. They can share similar chemical properties because they have the same number of electrons usually, um, but they can have varying different physical properties. And this is because of the different masses and therefore different nuclear forces. 
So for example, they can have different melting points or densities. Question 11. Element Q has three isotopes. Isotope Q15 with seven neutrons, isotope Q16 with eight neutrons, and isotope Q17 with nine neutrons. Determine the atomic number and the number of protons for element Q. So since isotopes of the same element have the same number of protons, this will give us the atomic number. Therefore, we can simply take away the neutrons from the mass number for each uh, isotope and we will get the same answer, which is eight, which is our atomic number and number of protons. Question 12. Element P has two main isotopes. Isotope P23 with an abundance of 78.70% and isotope P24 with an abundance of 11.20%. Calculate the relative atomic mass of element P. So using the equation we discussed and used before, we simply times the mass of each isotope by its respective abundance and sum them. This will give us, therefore, 23 times 0. 7870 plus 24 times 0 0.1120, which equates to approximately 22.76. So that brings us to the end of our questions. I hoped these questions helped with your understanding. If there was anything confusing or if I made a mistake, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, thank you for watching. Until next time.